Oh, my lord. My lord, I have been so affrighted. My lord, as I was sewing in my closet, Lord Hamlet, with his doublet all embraced, no hat upon his head, his stockings fouled, unguarded, and down jived to his ankle, and with a look so piteous in purport, as if he had been lucid out of hell to speak of horrors, he comes before me. He took me by the wrist and held me hard. Then goes he to the length of all his arm, and with his other hand thus o'er his brow, he falls to such perusal of my face as he would draw it. Long stayed he so. And with a little shaking of mine arm, and with his head thus waving up and down, he raised a sigh so piteous and profound as it did seem to shatter all his bulk and end his being. That done, he lets me go. And with his head over his shoulder turned, he seems to find his way without his eyes. For out of doors he went without their helps, and to the last bended their light on me.